Hello, my name is Charlie Good. I'm the CTO of Wowza Media Systems, and we're going to talk a little bit today about WebRTC and how we've integrated that technology into the Wowza streaming engine. So what is WebRTC? WebRTC is low latency, peer-to-peer -peer communication between two browsers. That's what it's intended for. So the idea is that now, without a plug-in, with no extra a goo inside your browser, you can have two people in different parts of the world talk to each other direct point-to-point -point just through the browser interface using real-time communication. And that's what the RTC part of WebRTC talks about, real-time communication. So what does that mean to Wowza? If you put a Wowza server in the mix, what it enables is a couple different workflows. And so let's walk through those. So one of them is the idea of using the browser as an encoder. So now without a plugin, I can fire up a web page, I can capture video off your webcam, send it into a Wowza streaming engine that's WebRTC enabled, and I'm able to take that stream, either distribute it back out through WebRTC, again in a very low latency fashion for playback, or I can transcode it into, into H.264 and AAC so that it's playable back in HLS or RTMP so that others can view and see that video live as it's happening. So that's very powerful. Now, now you're able to use your browser either on the desktop or on a mobile device that's enabled with Chrome. Um, it gives you the ability to use just your browser to encode video, send it to the Wowza streaming engine, and stream it out in a very low latency way uh, to viewers. So that's one of the workflows. The second workflow is this idea of a few-to-few -few web conference. With general out-of-the-box WebRTC, if you wanted to have three or four people talk to each other, what was required is that every person connect to every other person. So if I wanted to talk to three people, I would have to send a stream from myself to the two other people directly, and they would have to send their stream to the other two people as well. So it creates a very complicated mesh network of streaming that increases the bandwidth load um, for any individual person that wants to contribute to that communication. And as I add more people into my conference, Conference, that bandwidth need just goes up in, a square, in squares. If I insert a Wowza streaming engine into that mix, what that enables is now any one person that wants to contribute to a, a few to few web conference can send a low latency stream from a web browser into the Wowza streaming engine and then every viewer can connect it and see that, that single live stream in their web view. So it greatly reduces the amount of bandwidth that's needed for real-time communication. If I have a four by four uh, or three by three web conference, now it's very simple. Each person sending a single stream into the Wowza streaming engine and consuming three streams so that they can participate in that call. So again, those are the two major workflows that are solved by WebRTC. So now let's jump into a demo of WebRTC to kind of show how we've integrated it into Wowza Streaming Engine in terms of a, of a few to few conference. What I'm going to do is set up a conference call in a sense between me and a tablet of me. So it's kind of a one-on-one -on -one call where I'm going to be broadcasting from this Android tablet through the Chrome browser and it's going to be streamed, that, that'll be streamed and published to the Wowza Streaming Engine. Then I'll be able to view that in the Chrome browser on the desktop. So what I'm going to do now is open the WebRTC demo on the browser. You can see I've now allowed the camera access uh, from within the browser. And here I am right there, hello, 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 in the web browser in my Chrome browser. I have the same thing running here. I have the web camera enabled on my Android device. I'm now going to join the chat on the Android device. And you'll see in a few seconds that stream is sent from the Chrome browser on Android through to the Wowza streaming engine, and now that shows up on the, uh, in the conference. I also have a third person behind me in a demo wall station behind me that's also now involved in this three-way chat. So you can see, very simply using the Wowza streaming engine, I'm able to do a few-to-few -few web chat using WebRTC and the power of low-latency streaming.